Merhaba, hi everyone. This is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish food recipes. In this episode, we are making Turkish tea. We love tea so much. We can drink any time of the day, but mostly it is must have for breakfast and after the dinner time. It is easy to make, but have some tips as any recipes. I will share everything you want to know about it, including making your own double teapot and choosing the right glass. So let's get started. The first thing you need to make a Turkish tea is teapot, which is set of two. One is for the boiling water, and the second smaller one is to making the tea. As a second option, if you have a tea kettle like this. I bought this years ago when I was living in United States and if you have a smaller pot like this that fits to top then you can go make your Turkish tea with it. My water is boiling right now and the second ingredient is a good quality Turkish black tea leaves which is grown in the eastern Black Sea region of Turkey. You can look for it on the internet or in the Turkish markets. For two person, one and a half full tablespoon of tea leaves are enough. Of course, it also changes depends on how much glass of uh, Turkish tea you want to drink. So this is important. I turn off the heat and wait for 10 seconds before I pour the water over the leaves because I don't want to burn them. So slowly I add the water. It is about two and a half cups. I'm not going to fill the pot because I didn't add that much tea leaves. After you pour the water, put the lid on right away. Add more water on the bigger pot. Turn on the heat until the water is boiled on high and then lower the heat until you have a stable simmering water and while your tea is brewing for 20 minutes at least I have more than enough time to prepare my breakfast I made an episode about Turkish breakfast before you can watch it from the links but the presentations are endless so I want to show you another idea here this is my cheese plate from left to right I have soft white cheese and aged feta cheese, a string cheese which we call tel peyniri and fresh kaşar cheese. Black olives are must have in our breakfast. On the back I have kaymak, it is fresh cream that I got from the boiled and cooled fresh milk and together with homemade strawberry jam. Tahin pekmez mixture, which is tahini and molasses, some unsalted butter, and some cucumber and tomatoes. So let's get back to the tea. To serve our authentic Turkish tea, you will need a Turkish tea glass. This is also important because you can see the beautiful red color of your tea and decide how dark and rich you want to have. And it is more enjoyable to have your tea with these slim waisted and thin finished tea glasses, which we call incebelli. Since these glasses don't have a holder, we use these small tea plates. There are many different patterns, but my favorite one is this these traditional ones which you can see anywhere in tea houses in Turkey. While my tea is almost ready, last minute preparations, I heated some börek which I had from overnight and cooked simple fried egg in butter. After about 25 minutes, I'm checking my tea. The leaves should be synced, so it is done. And now I can happily grab my börek, fried egg, and tea 
to have my breakfast. If you are a tea enthusiast, your tea should be very hot. So in cold times I prefer to warm my glasses before I pour my tea. And here is the happy ending. You can have your tea lighter or stronger in taste and color by adding more or less tea and more water. If you want light one, we call it açık çay and for a stronger one, we call it demli çay. In here the second one is a bit stronger than the first one. Many Turkish people prefer their tea with sugar but I suggest first try it a bit lighter maybe but without sugar so you can get the taste better. But of course if you drink your coffee with sugar then no one can hold you. I'm very curious about if you ever tried Turkish tea, if you visit here in Turkey or maybe you tried yourself and how was your experience? Let's talk more in the comment section. You may want to watch my Turkish tea preparations that I made for my guests. I will also be sharing some links for the recipes that will go well with the Turkish tea. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes. Afiyet olsun.